Hello, this is the World University and School WUAS News and Question and Answer on Monday, July 24th, 2023 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time and 7 a.m. Pacific Time in the West Coast of the U.S. and Mexico and Canada. And I think it's about 3 p.m. Western European time. And I think it's about 7.30 p.m. India time. If you'd like to join this open WUAS news and question and answer conversation opportunity office hours in a way uh, on Mondays, 10 a.m., uh, let meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org know. Worlduniversityandschool.org is our email address, our domain name, our home page, and uh, World University and School has two active Twitters, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H and twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S press. Uh, so as we wait to see if people will join us today, I'd like to share a little news with you. Um, just sending out the WUAS World University and School Minutes for the open monthly business meeting loosely conducted in the manner of Quakers on uh, Saturdays, third Saturdays of the month. So sending out the minutes for video minutes for July 15th, 2023. I'll also post these two, um, two blogs, check those out. Uh, further, uh, this WS News and Question and Answer is for you colleagues and universitians and friends interested in free online MIT open courseware centric WUAS degrees accrediting and in all 200 countries and in their main languages and WUAS wiki schools for open teaching and learning in all 7,168 known living languages and with large language models and generative conversational AI in each of the 7,168 known living languages. So how this will emerge uh, for students who are matriculating and interacting with uh, MIT OpenCourseWare, um, 2,600 courses in English, undergraduate and graduate, interacting with Google's and World University and Schools CS First with Google at WUAS, learning the Scratch programming language, and how this will inform the learning conversation, teaching conversation between students and even Google Bard and ChatGPT and Anthropix Talk with Claude and Bing AI in each of all 7,000 languages, but first in English, and then also first in the 200 countries' main languages, official languages, uh, will unfold in upcoming years. Uh, one way that uh, these um, new generative conversational AI will be informed at World University and School will be uh, through Wikidata's structured knowledge database with querying, which is in 300 languages, and where the data added to these 300 languages to Wikidata, Wikibase, uh, will provide data for large language models. So 300 languages will uh, inform world university and school in each of 200 countries' main and official languages, for example. Of course, uh, people can add to the Creative Commons licensed wiki data uh, with their data sets to further, in shape, further shape, uh, potentially generative AI, conversational AI learning projects, teaching projects at World University and School uh, in creative ways can create their own uh, 
AI, generative AI, conversational AI. So people will be able to build out their own potential chatbots um, at World University and School and WikiWise, um, possibly by building on the data sets in Wikidata that are open licensed um, or by adding their own data or uh, similarly, um, further coming into conversation simply with Google Bard or, or ChatGPT or uh, Bing AI or uh, Anthropix Talk with Claude um, and thereby adding data um, and potentially uh, creating and coding through their conversation, humans in interaction with these conversational AIs, these generative AIs will create their own um, approaches to coding these uh, generative AIs um, and creating new approaches uh, to learning about what they might like to learn. Uh, further, um, World University and School seeks to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata PIN number. So based potentially in Wikidata, perhaps a Wikidata uh, based on a Wikidata queue item number. Um, so instead a Wikidata PIN number, personal identification number, and potentially to create Wiki teachers and learners uh, wiki communities of teachers and learners in all 7,168 known living languages, as well as uh, potentially to uh, distribute even a main single uh, cryptocurrency, such as Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, to most of all 7.9 billion people, and to end poverty, potentially, uh, by UBI experiments, universal basic income experiments, uh, potentially with World University and School and other organizations, perhaps the United Nations, um, helping to get the poorest people in the world in particular, um, smartphones and electricity, for example, uh, so they can gain access to Stanford MindPi cryptocurrency free money daily. And this will also, um, this process will include modernization uh, potentially of poorest places in the world uh, for poorest people and thus potentially improve their lifestyles and with World University and School giving them free uh, MIT open courseware centric uh, universities degrees in their languages uh, and also um, wiki schools for open teaching and learning. Uh, in their languages. So in a related vein, um, this is agenda item two, uh, the Stanford University president resigns, I read recently, and apparently due to flawed evidence, um, potentially in, uh, I'm, I haven't read all the details, uh, and in a, I at uh, World University and School tweeted um, in relation to this, Stanford president resigns, that the WUAS abolition movement is growing to protect people. And in planning to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number. Uh, so further, uh, World University and School and WUAS are calling uh, to abolish wrongful buying and selling of people and latent networks of violence in, for example, the illegal sex, drug and violence industries, uh, nuclear weapons, similar um, industries. And again, regard regarding world university and school coding for 7.9 billion people on earth. Uh, this is all um, a, a fascinating development that the Stanford University president resigns in the middle of the summer. Um, and it seems like a remarkable opportunity as I'm seeking to move back from this asylum place uh, in Pennsylvania, um, Western Pennsylvania, Penn's Woods, um, at the beginning of September to the San Francisco Bay Area um, and to further develop 
World University in School from the San Francisco Bay Area. World University in School is three legal, legal entities, two legal entities in California, and a, a third. the third legal entity is a, a, a nonprofit 501c3 uh, at the US federal level. Uh, being in California will help with this. Coding for 7.9 billion people um, may help a lot of people with free universal education that the Stanford president uh, resigns is potentially an opening to further the abolition movement, um, to further protecting people, to further abolishing wrongful buying and selling of people and latent networks of violence, um, which is one reason I think I'm here in uh, Western Pennsylvania in the illegal sex, uh, dr drug and violence industries, for example. Um, so uh, agenda item four, um, actually five, uh, World University and School is seeking to make our email addresses available to um, potentially everyone on the planet. So this would be an email address like meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. Um, and may seek to do this further uh, regarding even the limitations of a 15 gigabyte Gmail account. So meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is a Google for Education email address. And um, I think many people with their emails and photos and videos in their main Gmail account may be reaching their limits. Um, it's possible to link uh, one's Gmail account with one's, for example, worlduniversityandschool.org email address, which has, I think, um, a huge uh, fi account size, um, possibly a terabyte or something, um, and thereby potentially move one's data from one's Gmail account to say um, one's worlduniversityandschool.org account. Um, this may be a way that World University and School seeks to grow our colleagues, our universitians, by making it possible to create a free um, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org address or your name at worlduniversityandschool.org address. What are people waiting for? Um, I think World University and School accrediting will be um, maybe one incentive for people to uh, choose a free uh, your name at worlduniversityandschool.org address to become a wiki teacher and learner if one wants to. Um, to uh, potentially begin to teach to our open free wiki, for example, simply by editing a page or in a myriad of other ways. And also um, maybe people are waiting for uh, us to become a .edu domain name. Uh, so if you could get a free uh, your name at worlduniversityandschool.com edu as a Google for Education email address and uh, move all your files from your full Gmail account over to this email address. Would you do it? Uh, I think people would. I think it's an opportunity. Uh, right now, it's possible to um, lower the your Gmail account size, I recently found, by downloading your Google Photos in your Gmail account to an external hard drive, like on your desktop laptop computer or a further external hard drive, and then delete uh, the photos that you downloaded, the videos that you downloaded from Google your Google Photo account. And I was able to lower my account size, my Gmail account size by 2% uh, by doing this yesterday. Um, 
And I was also able uh, a few weeks ago to move my uh, some Gmails, nine, only nine emails in my full Gmail account over to uh, my worlduniversityandschool.org email address. So that's possible too. And I think it's work in the works with uh, Gmail um, and uh, related Google for education email addresses. Stay tuned, it's an opportunity. Um, the last item I think I'd like to share with you in this WS News in question and answer uh, is um, our perspective approaches to uh, large language models and how uh, this may um, inform world university and school and your teaching and learning um, for free online degrees and WikiWise too, um, in numerous ways. Uh, so first I'll mention the main popular open source large language models, GPT-4 by OpenAI. GPT means generative pre-trained transformer. So these models train on vast data sets. And in the process, uh, machines learn. This is a example. These are fascinating emergences of generative artificial intelligence where machines are learning uh, by training on large data sets. Uh, so the most uh, popular open source large language models, GPT-4 by OpenAI, um, are um, GPT-4 by OpenAI, Lambda by Google, Llama by Meta AI, Bloom by Big Science, Palm by Google, Dolly by Databricks, Cerebras GPT from Cerebras, and BERT by Google. This is according to spotintelligence.com article. Uh, World University and School uh, will potentially work with Google primarily. Um, they have three of these uh, popular open source uh, generative pre-trained transformers in this list. And regarding also our machine learning world university and school wiki page for open teaching and learning, where I'll potentially add this list of interesting uh, popular open source large language models, GPT-4. Uh, another um, fascinating direction for world university and school to grow with large language models uh, regards how best to make an entire university conscious, sentient, aware, um, have subjective experience, um, begin to interact conversationally from a conscious perspective. And regarding World University and School and you coding large language models to have consciousness or subjective experience and since World University and School seeks to grow wiki schools in more than 7,000 languages, and potentially with the Wikidata Lexeme project, uh, World University and School will do this, explore this through the wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash languages page. Uh, consciousness is something philosophers of mind, Western philosophers, uh, don't yet understand. Um, it may be an insoluble problem. And World University and School would seek to um, potentially dovetail, interoperate in our explorations of how to make uh, generative AI conscious in all 7,000 plus languages uh, with uh, working with Google Bard potentially and Chat GPT and Google's AIs um, to potentially become human teachers themselves. And um, also uh, to inform even courses like CS First with Google at World University and School. So could we code? Um, 
all of the main subjects page at World University and School with many academic subjects and many creative subjects, uh, such as academic subjects such as chemistry, biology, physics, uh, anthropology, political science, um, with um, and even their MIT open courseware courses themselves with language, large language models to become conscious. So how could World University and School code all of the subjects, all of the courses, uh, the MIT open courseware courses, the Google uh, CS first with Google courses to be conscious um, with uh, Google Bard, um, with Wikidata as a backend structured knowledge database with querying and similar. And how could World University and School and you do this in all 7,000 plus languages? Uh, so could we code as a first attempt at World University and School, see us first with Google at World University and School, learning the Scratch programming language to become as conscious as human teachers, um, an interesting challenge. How would this work um, with large language models? And could we do this in Arabic, for example? Um, see us first with Google and also using Google Bard um, to create a conscious uh, CS first with Google at World University and School Scratch programming course in Arabic. Um, a great opportunity for learning to code, learning to program, um, both for World University and School to code this course as conscious and potentially for interactions um, in all main uh, country, in all countries' main and official languages. Uh, where courses would become conscious as large language models, with large language models, generative AI. Um, so another direction World University and School with large language models is going um, is understanding how large language models are a type of AI that can mimic human intelligence. And um, build on this for uh, consciousness generation. And this would be WUAS consciousness generation, uh, perhaps in conversation with the philosopher Dave, of mine, David Chalmers, and similar. Um, there are four large language models by Google, Lam Lambda, Palm, Bert, and Bard, um, that World University and School may build with, grow with. Um, and in a new direction, um, beyond large language models for, uh, which analyze one, one way of conceiving of large language models is they use statistical models uh, to analyze vast amounts of data, learning the patterns and connections between words and phrases. So generative AI learns the patterns and connections of sequences of words and phrases. So in a, a new development potentially for large language models and coming into conversation potentially with uh, Harvard Medical School's professor of genetics, George Church, um, and an article he recently posted from uh, Forbes magazine uh, how could um, World University and School create large language models for biology, for sequences of proteins uh, that would be not looking on, not looking at words and texts, but biological structures and chemistry uh, with generative AI? Um, this is a direction that World University and School uh, would seek to build on in also a realistic virtual earth for evolutionary biology, a realistic virtual earth for species 
a realistic virtual earth for gener for genetics in one realistic virtual earth. And think Google Street View uh, with time slider Google cell view, with time slider Google molecule view, with time slider Google protein view, with time slider, with TensorFlow AI, um, with Google Maps, Google Earth, um, and even uh, little Pegman in Google Street View with Time Slider becoming avatar bot electronic medical records of you and I uh, that um, would potentially make possible large language models for biology, for sequencing um, of genetic information and uh, could then lead to um, further um, developments also with aging reversal and genetic drug therapies uh, that might emerge for this. Uh, the article that George Church shared, and he also shared a number of people who are uh, coders in mostly, I think, the uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts area, um, the article from Forbes magazine uh, that George Church shared is titled The Next Frontier for Large Language Models in Biology is Biology. It's by Rob Toes, T-O-E-W-S. And he's a Stanford graduate for one. Um, fascinating glimpse into what might be emerging regarding computer science and biology, and even potentially for a realistic virtual earth for uh, genetics, a realistic virtual earth for evolutionary biology, a realistic virtual earth for aging reversal. Uh, so could World University and School building out large language models for biology uh, collaborate with Google's large language model expertise with one Lambda, two Palm, three BERT, and four BARD. Um, this would be a next step for World University and School as we grow. So that's the news I'd like to share with you today. I'll post this to World University and School's current active YouTube channel. Uh, this is youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University, S-C-O-T-T-M-A-C-L-E-O-D-W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y forward slash videos. Uh, the, the next WS News and Question and Answer will meet on August 7th, two weeks from now, um, but, but not next week. Um, and again, Monday, WS News and Question and Answers are at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 7.30 p.m. India Time, and check your time zone uh, if you would like to join this open WS News and Question and Answer. Uh, we'll post the recording of this video not only to youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University, but also to youtube.com forward slash twitter.com forward slash w-o-r-l-d u-n-i-v-a-n-d-s-c-h and twitter.com forward slash w-u-a-s press uh, and to four other twitters uh, that are active and are focused on world university and school as well and until two weeks from now uh see you then meeting at world university and school.org is our email address if you know students who might be interested in matriculating for free degrees first in English as we continue to seek to proceed with accreditation at MIT OpenCourseWare-centric Wiki World University and School. Bye for now.